Oh my god. See, that's what I mean. Just high roll the treasures, bro. Alright, so I'm not the best deep gamer, but I've been playing a few games recently, and I think I've been slowly learning. I did have a list from Morpius, which I did go ahead and change quite a lot of. I'm actually going to keep one Vengeance. It might sound a bit crazy, but I don't want to toss it. I do play three, but it's pretty good removal against Lux. And that's like probably one of the bigger threats. Ouch. I'm trying to learn opponent's deck, Lux Affilios. Looks like he wants to play, um... What's he actually playing here? He burst past me as well. I wonder if I should have taken it, but... I also need to be drawing cards and stuff. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. I have mana for vengeance next turn. Don't really want to vengeance. I don't really want to vengeance Affilioso. Um, okay. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. We'll play the Mega Tusk this turn, I think. We can play Tusk cards next turn. Can I paint you? I'm trying to look for a soft pass here. See if he just drops like Lux or something. And I'll just vengeance it immediately. Beware of Celestial Trifecta. Will do. Will do. Alright, he's gonna hit me with the open pass here. I'm honestly just gonna fucking slap ship, ship recorder. Finding those treasures early is gonna be pretty good. Wow, that's a bit annoying. Gonna have to deal with that for the rest of the game. Um, fair enough. Nothing to really be scared of. That attack's totally fine. Oh my god. See, that's what I mean. Just high roll the treasures, bro. These are only 5-5s, five five, so. Seems worth it to me, though. Seems very worth it to me to, to play this turn. I've been hiding my life too long. Like, there's no way I'm not playing Plate Worm Egg this turn. Oh, that is not good for the opponent. I mean, yes and no. It just means I can now play Sea Scarab into Plate Worm Egg. I mean, what else was he gonna realistically hit? I guess he's playing around my ability to like maybe double jettison or something like that. As darkness falls, the moon rises. This is really good because now we're applying a lot more pressure than we were supposed to on this turn. Which is going to help us to be able to like force out comets and shit. Do I just full swing?
He already has to block with something here. So Aphilios probably blocks to 7-5. And then I put him down to minus 3. If I swing like this, he has to block something else. No, this is fine. I think I want to hold into my Mega Tusk and see Scarab for now. You might as well go down to three here, I reckon. I guess if I do full swing, what's it look like? Hang on. So if I swing with the three, two and the two, three, he's, he's at a minus two. So he has to, he basically loses Aphilios here. Okay, so a full swing should have been correct. I would have forced him to trade off Aphilios because he can't block the Sea Scarab. But um, I really don't see how we're losing this game, to be honest. Crescendo. I'll pass here for now. I could do all the crazy plays next turn. I can burst speed, jettison, salvage into like a really crazy open attack. And then I also maybe no, maybe I want to go deep this turn because if I if I do. I can access Vengeance plus Undergrowth as a removal to some weird, like, Judgment play. Just if he had Judgment for whatever reason. So if he, if he takes a pass, so I guess it's okay as well. Alright. I can actually do it. I can do this on the stack. I still can't play Vengeance though, right? So that doesn't really make much sense. I don't have enough mana, so we'll just do this. Oh, Kill Breaker. Let's go. I mean, how are you surviving this attack? That's very much... We're very much deep. And it feels very much good. Very deep. Now this is a winning matchup, so let's make sure not to throw it away. Decent. We do unironically have no way to actually deal with the Annie. Unless we draw a three cost card. No, any turn one, please. Legion Saboteur, unironically, <laughs> feels a little bit better. I thought about Atro, but it isn't winning. We have to venture to be winning. Yeah. I mean, absolutely right. That's what I was thinking, to be honest. I don't think it's ever correct to play around a single copy of Bastion if you're on the back foot. Maokai's a nice draw. I can do this. Oh, Dead Bloom Wanderer. Looking really good here. Light the fuse. I don't know if it even, I don't know if it actually makes sense to swing here. Even a full swing. So I can go into 17 or 16, right? Doesn't matter which order we do this in because of the stack. Undermines. Wait. Sheesh! Oh, fair enough. That was going to get played eventually. No gin in hand, which is good. Big draws, big draws. Um, I don't think we just pass here. I will tend this garden. Setting up the drain card seemed not too bad. I'll stay flexible for now. If they don't break, they'll burn. 
Looks like he set up the um, undergrowth anyway. And we get more belly from it this way, so there you go. Come on, Dippers. It's playtime. Okay. What's our play here? Don't mind me. <laughs> I cannot be broken. I decided to use my cards there because I did want the guaranteed healing. I wonder if I'm better off going for Abyssal Eye or Sea Scarab here. I think Abyssal Eye is important for finding some card draw. I can only play one unit regardless, so... Let's do Abyssal Eye. Sea Scarab would help me to potentially go deep, but Abyssal Eye honestly achieves the same if we get the connection. Swing with the 1-1 one, one Spider. What does that achieve? We have a worse blocker. I guess we don't swing with it for now. I guess I can play uh, Dreg and go deep. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. I never All right, this is good. It means the vengeance is going to get good value against Tybalk. This is going to deal two damage. I guess this slapping shipwreck hoarder achieves the same. I guess it could push more damage though. This is fine. We'll vengeance this turn. And we'll play Sea Scarab and push the Maokai flip faster. So he's dealing 4 damage to me this turn, once he swings with the Legion Saboteur. This might help me to go deeper faster. No, Mega Tusk. I want that healing. What's up, Stormclaw? How are you? Hi, how's Lurk doing? I haven't played Lurk yet today. 
Shiny find, I haven't played Cloak. Um, do I pass against Faded turn 3? He has nothing to threaten in a free kill on White Flame. Uh, probably. Not sure if he's still there, but probably. I'm unironically losing to the potential of him destroying Decimates in the rest of his deck, sadly. I guess he'd need Decimate plus X card. He's played a whole bunch of Blades Edges as well. Play around Decimate, literally, by doing this. But not Noxium forever. Fuck, not Noxium forever. I have, no, I have Vengeance, it's all good. This is literally playing around Decimate. Because if he has Decimate in hand and he uses it, I am just dead to the skill plus whatnot. All right, I don't see a way we lose now. I think we're good. think we're good. We beat Noxie on further top decks. Blaze Edge. I um, think we're piss chilling. Yeah, that's what you did. Um, if the Pantheon player is in spots, I'm not sure, was it the opponent you were versing? If they're ever like not playing their cards to get their Pantheon conditions met, then you obviously you just you just pass against them. You just pass against them. Depending on what you're playing.